All right, guys, welcome back to part three of our little brim series. If you haven't seen parts one and two, go back and watch those. We talked all about rods and reels, line and leader, all the ins and outs. Um, we'll have those linked down below. But right now, we're at the fun part, talking about lures. Um, I've got stacks of lures in here, full color ranges, full, all the sizes, um, probably way too many to talk about. In fact, we just filmed a whole segment and it went for like 20 minutes, so we're gonna do this a bit more uh, compact. So I've picked a few of my favorites here behind me and we're just gonna run through each one uh, and show you a few of them and a few of the colors and um, give you a bit of a rundown. So the first one I got here is the Infeet Rolling Crank. It's just a little 32 mil uh, crankbait. They come in a medium runner and a, sh uh, sorry, a deep runner. And these are awesome for big long casts over the flats. Uh, like in the last video I talked about running straight through, you know, if it's tough, you can cast these things a mile uh, and they really get the bites, especially being that smaller profile. They have really good BKK hooks on them and the colors are really, really nice. That one there is the Red Crab. That's one of the latest colors I've released and um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a few in my box. So next up is the dial double clutch. This is the 60 mil version. There's a 48 and a 75, which are applicable too, but the 60 is a really good profile. That is the, I think they call it laser red, Carmen red, Spanish red, it's all the same thing. Really nice red profile. It has the uh, sliding weight system in it. So when you cast it, the weight slides to the back, gives you a really nice long tail first cast. And then when you retrieve it and start diving the lure down, that pops back to the front and makes the lure swim really, really well. They're an awesome jerk bait, so you can twitch them across across the flats or in the deeper water. Stop, start, stop, start, or you can even just slow roll them and they work really well like that as well. Next one, this is the Infeet Kadachi. It's a 40 mil uh, minnow style lure. Really, really good profile. It's a very popular profile, very similar to the old uh, SX40s, except this one has a tungsten ball in it, so it makes it cast really, really well. It's like a bullet when it goes through the air, and you can just slow roll this one back. It comes in a really good range of colors as well, um, and they get down to about 1.2. Moving along is the Zip Bait Riggy. This is the 56. Yeah, it's in a chrome pattern. Um, I can't remember the color number, impossible to remember, but it's a really nice chrome body with an orange belly. They're a, uh, another jerk bait. They have a similar system to the dial with a sliding weight in them with a magnet. Cast well, really, really well tail first. That snaps at the front uh, and you can stop and start these lures, slow roll them, very similar to the double clutch. Really nice lures with a very good finish. Next in the line is another zip bait. It's the Cams and Tiny. It's a 40 mil lure, again, similar to those uh, Kadachis, SX40s, has that same sliding weight system in it though as the Riggies and the um, Double Clutches, which makes it cast really, really well. And these are super sensitive for finesse fishing. You can, the slightest um, rod tip movement makes them move in the water. Uh, it's a really good subtle presentation. I used these a couple of weeks ago in Amanda and absolutely smacked them. Um, they're really good, have a great range of colors as well. Next one along is the Micro Muscle from Blue, Blue Lip Baits. Uh, it's a, it's like a, it's a basically a muscle imitation. Works the same way as you'd work a, a, a vibe lure. So you cast it in nice and close to structure. It has this really nice sort of erratic sinking to it. Very natural, like a muscle being just knocked off a pile on falling to the bottom. A lot of the time it gets hit on the sink. Um, they come in four colors, um, all sort of from your, your uh, black natural with some pink, some blue, some white, um, and they come rigged with really good terminals, usually decoy hooks. The next one here is the Crank Crab. It's he's a uh, perennial favorite among a lot of tournament anglers. It's uh, the best crab imitation on the market by far. It's got the floating foam claws on it, uh, which sit up on the bottom and really get bites. Fish will come along and peck at those claws and get all stuck in their lips uh, and they don't get away. Interchangeable claws, interchangeable legs, um, really good fishing that structure, sinking down pylons and bridges, or even just casting along flats and moving it very slowly. Uh, very versatile lure and it's, yeah, it's, it's won a lot of tournaments and for a very good reason. So moving on now to a surface lure, and it's probably the only surface lure you'll ever need for brim, and it's the Bent Minnow by OSP. It's a very unique lure. Many, many companies have tried and failed miserably to copy it. Um, 
it is the one one of those lures where you do need to buy the original it comes with really light special hooks um, and a clip on the front it's all part of making it swim properly it's uh, it's very unique it's got a sort of like a banana like a bit of a bend in it, it sits on the surface um, and as you twitch and work it it'll have it's a retrieve of its own it's almost like no two retrieves this lure are the same um, it darts up skips out of the water pulls under, um, very, very versatile work on the surface, and then you can actually get it to go subsurface where you twitch it down and you can just slow roll and twitch it and you can work it as a subsurface lure as well. So if you have fish chasing but they're not committing, halfway through at the tree, if you can twitch it down, get it working by the surface and um, a lot of times convert that bite. And a lot of guys do go into real detail with um, tricking these out with things like tungst tungsten weights and changing the hooks and, and uh, assist hooks and all that kind of thing. So yeah, very versatile lure and probably the surface lure to have if you're going to do one. And last in the line is a really cool Pro Lure SK62. So it's a 62mm slow sinking stick bait. Comes rigged with decoys again, the YS25s. Really good hooks. Um, range of really nice colours. Very long casting. It's got a good bit of weight behind it. Uh, has a slight shimmy on the sink and you can just slowly roll it back and twitch it. Uh, awesome for that flats fishing or even you can cast along deeper drop offs and snags and let it sink and almost twitch it off the bottom like a soft plastic. Um, very versatile. Stick bait's probably one of the most versatile lures out there. The last thing I'll show you is a few of our soft plastics, a couple of my favorites. Um, two very popular styles of lure. You've got the grubs and you've got the minnow or the paddle tail. Both Bait Junkie and Daiwa do really good versions of them. They're super stretchy, super tough. They have all the very, very good colors, your bloodworms, your motor oils, pumpkin seed, all that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of them have UV in them as well. Um, really, really blow resistant. You can rig them a heap of different ways. Um, you can chop them down, make them smaller, really get into it as well. Um, they're two very good plastics. Something a little bit more unique, it's your creature bait from Brawler Baits. It's called the Bruce. It's a 48, uh, sorry, it's a uh, yeah, 48 mil um, sort of yabby or crustacean imitation. Um, I've fished these a lot on flats. I've fished them in snags. I've fished them on deep drop-offs. You can really um, fish them slow, let them sit on the bottom, and almost with just with those legs, how sensitive they are, they'll move in the current, and fish will just pick them up, and you'll just feel a clunk, and you'll have a fish on. And lastly, the Pro Little Clone, Clone Prawn 62. Um, been really good all over our socials lately. It's been catching a lot of fish. We like to rig them with a hidden weight jig uh, to make them sink really nice and, um, and horizontal. They just float through the water column. You can rig them right way up, upside down, back to front, it doesn't matter. Um, they just get eaten on the sink and you can give them some twitches just like a fleeing prawn. And uh, yeah, the fish love them. So that's a quick look at a few of our favorites. As we said, there's so many lures in here. Uh, we stock whole ranges, all the colors. Uh, it's the one-stop brim shop. Uh, so if you want to come down, have a look in the shop, either Beckenham or Osborne Park, or get online to tacklewest.com.au. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.